the band. Cameron Bruce. Look at that. Feathers. That should have been needed. Welcome, everyone, to the sideshow. We've got showgirls riding cute elephants, monkeys riding beautiful horses, and farmers riding attractive sheep. <laughs> Tonight, the triumphant return of Will Anderson. Great music, yes! Great music from Expatriate, the best in burlesque from La La Parla, Umbilicals, Tripods, Claire Hoopers, Flacos, and more! Plus, charging rhinos, dancing monkeys, spitting snakes, and other candidates in this year's federal election. <laughs> Lock up your daughters, because all 17 MPs from the National Party have offered to door knock for John Howard in his Sydney seat. <laughs> John can't reach the doorbell. <laughs> oh, no. And when he knocks, the people inside only open it long enough to hand him a poo in a burning bag and then... <laughs> cool. So to clap for that. The Nationals want to repay the Prime Minister for all the visits he's made to their electorates. So they're dressing up a pig and teaching it to say interest rates. <laughs> the live Earth concerts are only two weeks away. So we went to their website to find out how we can do more. And this one's a beauty. Chewing gum can be recycled and turned into a playing surface for children. <laughs> Just be careful if your child has new clothes or hair. <laughs> but is chewing gum really such a big environmental problem? Are penguins being washed up, covered in hubba bubba? Are dolphins suffocating because their blowholes are blocked with lumps of Nicorette? Thoughtlessly discarded by sea captains trying to give up smoking? <laughs> if you're curious about what your cat does all day... And let's face it, who isn't? <laughs> a German inventor has come up with cat cam. You attach it to your pet's collar and it takes one photo a minute for 48 hours. Now that is a snappy Tom. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! One photograph a minute for 48 hours. So every two days you have 60 photos of cat food, and 2,820 snaps of its crotch. <laughs> Give or take the odd one of a native bird like this. <laughs> ah! Ah! I don't know why you'd bother. If you want photographs of your cat licking itself, you can find millions of them on the net. <laughs> Although, be very careful what you type into Google. <laughs> Here's some smart political thinking. Labor's Julia Gillard reckons Australia needs to be more like Mumble, <laughs> the dancing penguin from Happy Feet. <laughs> Currently, Australia's more like Cartman, often racist and getting fatter. But if we really want to model ourselves on an animated movie, what about Shrek? If there's one thing that says Howard and Costello, it's the adventures of a bald, misanthropic ogre and his hyperactive, smirking donkey. <laughs> Thank you from the stands. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to get the sideshow on the road? Yes? <laughs> Make them welcome, because they are in the room. The swinging kings of all the things they sing. It's Tripod. Yeah. 
them again tripod mm, that's good coffee Design number 132. Why God didn't design using crayon. <laughs> Hello, my name is Adam. Hello, Adam. My name is A. Hey, Eve. <laughs> What's that? A dinosaur. God didn't make. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, son. It's not my birthday. Give me that thing. If you're done with this, I could just get the... <laughs> Before we go on, I've got some apologies from a few people who couldn't be here tonight. Uh, 17 MPs from the National Party can't make it. <laughs> They're taking on a dozen Jehovah's Witnesses 
in a Benelong turf war. <laughs> Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes can't be here. They're still debriefing after James Packer's wedding. <laughs> Katie's trying to explain to Tom what it is we humans call love. <laughs> Shane and Simone Warren won't be joining us. Shane's in hospital after he arrived at the Packer wedding, saw a room full of bridesmaids and ruptured his texting finger. <laughs> now, the while. But we don't need them anyway, ladies and gentlemen, because we have the man here tonight. His new show is called Will of God. He's will-tastic. He's overwhelming. <laughs> He's the will deal. Please make him welcome the one and only Will Anderson. <laughs> Um, John Howard's been in the news a bit lately. Uh, people are saying he should have retired. When's he going to retire? He should have retired. He's never going to retire. He's 67 now. He'll be there when he's 87 if they'll let him, you know. He'll have the tracksuit pants up around the nipples. <laughs> he'll be bald. He'll comb the eyebrows right over. <laughs> he's never leaving. This man it was a man who lived at home until he was 32 years old. <laughs> This is true. He has never lived in a share house. Not that you would want to live in a share house with John Hout. <laughs> hey, John, what's this stain on the carpet? Oh, there is no stain. <laughs> John, there's a stain right there. Oh, when I said there was no stain, that was the best available information I had at the time. <laughs> hey, John, where's the phone? Oh, I sold it. <laughs> This is the government that brought in VSU, voluntary student unionism. Brendan Nelson, who was the education minister at the time, he said a student should not have to pay for something they do not use. I was like, sweet Brendan, I'm not paying for my degree. <laughs> Weird argument, though, don't you think? We shouldn't have to pay for something we don't use because our entire society is based on the idea of paying for stuff that you do not use. It's called tax. <laughs> right? We all pay tax. If the government wants to make it use, it pays. Sweet. Give me some of my tax back. <laughs> I didn't agree with the war in Iraq. They spent a shitload of money on that. Give yeah. me my money back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or if it's use, it pays, and you've already spent the money, at least give me a go at some of the stuff. <laughs> Two days a week, I want to drive a tank to work. <laughs> Screw road rage, I've got a tank. <laughs> Volvo driver in right hand lane, engage rocket launches. <laughs> Big political story, of course, of the year was David Hicks. Hicks, he's back in the country after being charged with material assistance for terrorism. I love that. What is what is that? Material assistance for... Makes it sound like he designed the uniforms, didn't it? <laughs> you know, queer eye for the Al-Qaeda guy. <laughs> you know what's in this summer? Camouflage and beards. <laughs> You're the bomb. Oh, you are a bomb. <laughs> My favourite thing from the David Hicks trial, though, was the info... I love this. He met Osama bin Laden eight times. He must be a terrorist. He met Osama bin Laden eight times. I love that. George Bush can't find Osama bin Laden. David Hicks can't get rid of him. Piss off, piss off Osama! I've got shit to do today. If we want to find Osama, he's probably in Adelaide outside Terry Hicks's place, you know? Can David come out to play? I'm bored in the cave. It was a... Uh, he was tortured, that was my problem, because I think if you torture someone, you can get them to say anything, you know? It was like that number three terrorist in the world, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. He, he recently confessed to everything after torture. Did you see that? He was like, oh, yeah, 9-11, that was me. <laughs> Bali, yeah, that was me. Daniel Pearl, the journalist, yeah, that was me. I stole the cookies from the cookie jar. <laughs> I let the dogs out. <laughs> I shot the sheriff. <laughs> but I did not shoot the deputy! Thank you very much. Well, 
Will Anderson. See him at the Opera House. See him, ladies and gentlemen. Will Anderson. That was wonderful. And now, after a sellout season at the Adelaide Fringe Festival with their whip kraken show tarnished, two of the subversive showgirls from La La Parla are here in the sideshow. Please make them welcome the illustrated woman, Kelly Vella, and the queen of burlesque, Imogen Kelly, La La Parla. Why, thank you very much, Paul. We are. <laughs> now, what do you call what you do? Um, well, we, we are in a show called Tarnished, and it's a, a shotgun marriage of circus and burlesque, and it's absolutely hot. <laughs> Could you explain to the young people out there what burlesque is? It's, it's sort of naughty, titillating, silly, fun, um, a little bit raunchy, but not really. Um, actually, it is. Actually, we are. Um, <laughs> It's stripped tears with a bit of an edge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, this is going to make so many kids happy out there. You... It's about entertainment. Entertainment. Yes. yes. And we had from your show uh, the wonderful, the beautiful Tiger Lil. Yes. On a few weeks ago, who did some marvellous things with an angle grinder. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Do you remember Tiger Lil? <laughs> yes, she's our princess of power tools. <laughs> and do you have anything else for us tonight? Of course we do. Okay. Shall I? Oh, oh, me? You want yes, me to do sure. it? Oh, gee, okay. Well... Can you say goodbye to Kelly then? You're not part of this? Oh, say goodbye to me. Go say goodbye to Kelly, me. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, do you want to go get ready? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, go and get ready. Please make welcome Imogen Kelly, ladies and gentlemen, from La La Parla. Imogen Kelly.
Imogen Kelly, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up, beautiful music from expatriate Genevieve Lemon. The Umbilical Brothers are going to be here and in the wrestling ring. The threatening bears will take a few inches off Mr Squiggle's pencil. <laughs> <laughs> but first, direct from Smelling Nice for the Sniffer Dogs in China. Please welcome the glorious Claire Hooper. <laughs> After customs. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, and I think you should, all should, yeah. Claire went to China in between our last show on Saturday night and this show. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And I'm back. And from me, this is from one of my best friends, Steve, who sleeps. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me rephrase. Uh, so he just recently set up a voice activated recorder in his bedroom just to prove to himself Lee got old that I chomp. <laughs> uh, yeah, truly. Yeah. You know. Look at that. Just went to be I'm 30 and I should be grateful for what I'm offered. <laughs> All right then. And I called my other fiance to um to ask him. <laughs> Not a present just for Christmas. <laughs> and I'm going to keep this one even if he does piss on the rug. <laughs> so um, I called my older fiance and I said, Is this true? Did I? I always, oh, you always used to sleep on the plane. I'd love it. As soon as it took off, I'd be like, There's me. Right? It's nasty. I, I occasionally do the dribble <laughs> on the long flights. Oh. But it's. Always... Sorry to everyone. So, uh, what I came in to show you was this is the recorded evidence by my friend Steve that he does ask questions in his sleep. This is not faked at all. This is genuinely from one night, but obviously with all the silence cut out. Mm. Um, and because some of it's a little bit muffled, uh, we've added <laughs> subtitles. Okay. Yeah. Change, change, or change, actually. Oh, wait, 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 what's he done, what's he done? How many kilometres? From the Terracetta Valley versus Predator, actually. What is that? 1750. You sure? Ladies and gentlemen, can you please say the beautiful player Hooper? Would you like to hear some rock and roll? Yes! Yeah. They've played with Something for Kate, Powderfinger, Simple Minds. The new album is in the midst of this. The song, The Spaces Between. Please welcome Expatriate. Yeah. I think I'm, 
I think I'm gonna throw up. Just wait one second, okay? Throw up now! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Recently, I took up skydiving, but unfortunately, I put my parachute on upside down and immediately plummeted upwards. <laughs> and I haven't been seen since. It's a terrible thing. When I finally came to Earth, I suffered multiple injuries. I don't know if you had fractured bones these days. If you go to the doctor, they have these little screws, little screws they put into the bones, and they dissolve after about three weeks. Now, these are obviously the same ones they use at IKEA. <laughs> That's one. I love Ikea. You go there, you know, beautiful business idea. You go there, they don't deliver, and you have to build it yourself. It's fantastic. Oh, hello. Welcome to Ikea. You like that table, sir? Well, here's a tree, and there's a hacksaw. Now, piss off. <laughs> I especially love the homewares department. Got some beautiful plates there last week. Beautiful plates. They're tectonic. They're a little bit volatile, a little bit volatile. You have to keep shifting them about the kitchen. <laughs> Otherwise, they will form a continent, and you don't want that in the kitchen. <laughs> I also picked up a lazy Susan, but it got motivated. And now, <laughs> I've got nowhere to keep my mixed nuts. Mm. Well, I think my jokes are wearing a little thin, so if you'll just excuse me, I'll uh, duck out and renew my artistic license. <laughs> it's a cruel world. <laughs> stuff coming up on the sideshow will answer the age-old question who to win a fight between a rocket propelled grenade and a mime <laughs> Zelda the amazing contortionist will confound us all by swallowing her own mouth <laughs> John Howard will entertain us by bending over backwards and inviting a businessman to stand on his principles <laughs> Daisy, the half-woman, half-cow, will show us why people come for the stage show, but stay for the milk. <laughs> and Sheikh Hilali will showcase his new band, The Uncanny Ex-Mufti. <laughs> <laughs> Our next songbird is an award-winning actor and review star, and she's currently starring in the musical Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Ladies and gentlemen, with a Midnight Oil song, can you please welcome... Genevieve Lemon. This one goes out to the good people at James Hardy. Drenched out, it is crunched up and broken. Life that is lived is no more than a token. Who'll strike the flint upon the stone and tell me why? If I yell out at night, the reply is blue silence. The screen is no comfort, I can speak my sentence. They blew the lights at heaven's gate And I don't know why But if I walk all day on the blue sky mine There'll be food on the table tonight And if I walk up and down on the blue sky mine There'll be pay in my pocket tonight the 
my candy store paupers lie to the shareholders crossing their fingers they pay the truth makers the balance sheet is breaking up the sky so i'm caught at the junction still waiting for mercy sweat from my brow keeps on feeding me Hope the crumbs in my pocket can keep me for another night. And if the blue sky mining company won't come to my rescue, if the sugar The blue sky town. Genevieve Lemon, Blue Sky Mine from the album Angels in the City. Brendan St. Ledger on piano and Wayne Goodwin on violin. Genevieve Lemon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and here they are back in the show after knocking the clogs off lots of Scandinavians. Make them welcome. The Umbilical Brothers. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, Dave. Yeah. Uh, I've got a special surprise for you. Uh, yes. Remember that stunt dog we used a couple of ah, weeks back? Gorgeous stunt dog, yeah. Well, he's back. No way. Where? Yeah. Oh, 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 he likes you. Oh, does he? Well, I like you too. Oh. <laughs> 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 What's his name? Poo Eater. No! Oh, oh. <laughs> good, good boy. <laughs> no tongues. Good boy. Oh. He's really well trained, Dave. Oh, really? Yeah. Try some tricks with him. Okay. Use the leash, man. Stay. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> St <laughs> Good dog.
about it we are taking a break for a few weeks but the sideshow will re we're going to be taking a break for a few weeks but the sideshow will return in august at the very special time of 9 30. that's going to be fun before we go a quick look at what's coming up while we're away 
the ABC will celebrate its 75th birthday and blow its entire annual budget on a cask of wine and a really nice balloon. <laughs> At the Live Earth concert in London, James Blunt will perform and a thousand lovesick whales will beach themselves. <laughs> In the broadband bidding war and still having trouble with the lingo, John Howard will offer voters free broads, ADHD and unlimited mega biscuits. <laughs> and Amanda Van Stone will start work as Australia's ambassador to Italy, but hit a snag when she's invited to the opera, sings and everyone has to go home. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. One, two, three. Yeah! 